Do you want to know how to form Scandinavia very quickly? Then stay tuned. Hello guys, this is Flying Dutchie and welcome to another guide video. This time we are going to show how you can form Scandinavia very quickly. Um, I also did a, a video about Germany and Italy. Those are the three major unifications and this time we are going to look on the Scandinavian one. Now, the easiest way to do this is as Sweden. Sweden is the strongest nation of the countries that are in Scandinavia. So I would really recommend you playing with them. They also start with Norway in the personal union, which makes it a lot easier to um, form Scandinavia. So let's um, see if we can get Prussia like us. That is always very nice uh, to start off. And if you don't have Prussia like you, then just restart the game really. And then I see you in the game. Alright, we are back in the game. Um, apparently it is not possible to have Prussia as a friendly nation. They are just cautious all, every time I restart it, so... Um, it's almost impossible, I think. Um, but we have Great Britain very cooperative with us, and Austria as well. And no one is angry with me, so I think that's more than enough. Now, you want to improve relations with Prussia at the start of the game. You also have a new trade agreement, so maybe you can get their relations up very high. And we will also improve the relations with Great Britain. Because at the start of the game, we are going to attack Denmark, and that will happen very soon. Now, let's go over what you need to do to form Scandinavia. You go to the Culture tab, Nation Formation, and Scandinavia. And everything that is highlighted, including Iceland and Greenland, well, Greenland not actually, but Iceland is, um, is part of this region, of this major unification. So the big nations in this region are Nor Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and Finland, and two nations in the North German culture group over here. Um, so what you want to do to form Scandinavia is to have uh, 11 regions under your control and you need to research pan-nationalism. So it takes a bit longer to form Scandinavia because you need to do a uh, technology that is a bit further in the tech tree so it takes a bit more years to research it. But uh, you should just try and go puppet Denmark because Norway is already under your control in a personal union. That is why they have your color. And if you can get Denmark on your side you get three more states and that is exactly enough to form Scandinavia. Now there are a couple more states um, in this list. These are the uh, Finnish states. I think all of them, including West Karelia, or no, not West Karelia, but um, these three states here are in the list, and also Åland, this island over here, and also uh, Schleswig-Holstein. They are split at the moment because part of it is uh, an independent nation, I guess, and some part is part of Denmark. That's why it's saying it's split. Um, don't focus on Finland, because you cannot get them very easily. Um, and the good thing about Finland is that you have claims. Uh, I don't know if I can show this. Yeah, here we go. Sweden is having claims on these states over here. These four. Which means that you can conquer them with not a lot of infamy. Um, you cannot do the play to uh, transfer subject. It's not possible, because it is a personal union under Russia, and you cannot transfer personal unions, you can only uh, transfer vessels, I guess. So, yeah, you can't really get them. You can only uh, take this by going to war of Russia for something else, for example, you go for the conquest of Estonia, or for uh, East Karelia, and then when you are at war, you can add these as a war goal. You can transfer this, uh, this puppet to you then, or you just take the four states. Um, but just focus on forming Scandinavia with Denmark first, then build up. Maybe you can get Prussia and Austria on your side, and then you would attack Russia. So let's start with nationalism. Uh, the pan-nationalism, by the way, is all the way over here. And you can see that after nationalism, pan-nationalism takes how long at the moment? 19 years. So it's a really long research. And um, I would not go for this instantly, by the way. Because uh, Sweden is having a lot of uh, infrastructure problems at the start of the game. So what I would always always like to do is go for railways first. So you research mechanical tools, the at atmospheric engine, and then you go for railways. And when you have done these, you're going to nationalism and then pan-nationalism. So that is what I'm going to do. Because as you can see, the infrastructure is already a problem in Svealand. So what I do is give them road maintenance from my authority, so we have a little bit more infrastructure. 
not that much. And also over here we have an infrastructure problem at the start of the game. So I will also use this uh, road maintenance over here. What you can do is build more ports. Um, a level 2 port gives how much infrastructure? 5 per level. Um, yeah, that's a way to get more infrastructure over here. Uh, but I, will, I won't do it because I will go for the real roads. Now, what you need to do at the start is um, see if you become a major power. We want to puppet Denmark. And at the moment we cannot puppet Denmark because we are minor power. And Denmark is also minor power. If we would become major power, we could facilize a minor power. So we need to wait until we become a major power. And luckily at the start of the game, this happens um, almost always, I think. So that is why we go to War of Denmark instantly, because we could fall down to a minor power. Now, first of all, I will build my um, construction sectors. I will build three, maybe four of them at the start of the game. I'm going to raise our taxes. We are going to use some consumption taxes. Now, I will put this on the fish because it's too much money to... Uh, not take and also on services and I will pay my military wages as well that's what I do at the start of the game I spent my influence I'm improving with Prussia and Great Britain at the moment so I think it is time to unpause the video and see if we become a major power yeah there we go we are now a major power and Denmark is not and that means that we can vassalize Denmark we can make him a puppet it gives 17 infamy and hopefully some of these bigger nations are going to join our side. So we put this uh, play on. You should always uh, promote your general and maybe look if you have a better general. We have an artillery commander. There's only 5 offense. It's not that big of a deal. 5%. No, I don't think we have a better one than we have right now. Oh, you are romantic. That is actually horrible, so we want to get a better one. But which one? I guess we will give you, because you have 10% offense, maybe. So, I will get this guy, and I'm gonna fire this one. I'm gonna promote this one to level 2. I'm gonna put him to the Danish front. And I will tell my conscripts to rise up as well. There we go, so we have 40 troops to fight, and Norway, Norway will also add their troops to this front. And I will be back when we are in the next phase, and see if uh, someone is going to join Denmark, maybe France will, and maybe someone joins our side. So, let's uh, see you soon. Alright, uh, the only nation that joined Denmark is Spain, which can be a problem, because they can naval invade your capital and then you lose the war, but then you just need to start over really. Uh, we want to puppet Denmark, they want to humiliate us. We are having a very small um, yeah, edge over here, over the others. So what I will do is try to build a couple more barracks. Uh, let's see, we should do that instantly. Let's build five here, let's build five there, let's build five in Norland. Fifteen more, maybe that will do the trick here. And let's see how this will go. To wait for the war to start and see if they're going to attack me they are so i will defend and take their attack on me and let's see if we are going to win this okay we have more defense than they have offense so that is a good sign uh, you also start with 10 boats really i mean it doesn't do a lot it's patrolling the sweden swedish coast so if they want to do a naval invasion they have to beat my 10 uh, uh, boats should not be that hard for them to do of course okay so we will let's go to speed five we will win this first uh, battle here maybe we can do a counter attack there we go let's do a counter attack because they lost some morale now i'm attacking with 41 they with 40 and i have a little bit more troops so i think we can win this yes it looks like we are winning this very nice. And are they doing naval invasion somewhere? Not yet. We only need to get the capital of Denmark. So it looks like we are going to succeed. Because I think this is enough to win. So I will just uh, defend uh, for now. So 
I think I'm gonna get the ticking war score. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, defend here. Uh, Norway is actually attacking Denmark for some reason. So my vessel is going on the offense, which they really sh should not do because we can just win right now by holding this small portion of uh, Copenhagen, which is the capital. And wait a minute, did they attack me? I thought that uh, they were attacking me and not the other way around. Oh well. Uh, we need to build the construction sectors first because we are not spending our money. Well, let's do another attack over here. Am I going to win this? Yes. Because we are building a bit more troops. Perfect. Taking back the capital of Denmark. Maybe we should keep going with the attacks over here. It seems like that we have uh, way more troops than they do. Yes, and now they are going to minus 13. So very soon Denmark will be our puppet over here. There we go. Now we should really not attack anymore. There's no reason for it. And there we go. Spain is out of the war and Denmark is now our puppet. So they are now in our color. And if you go over here, you can see that we have 11 out of 11 states to form Scandinavia. Except for the Schleswig-Holstein and the Finnish states. So what I will do now is build up my country, build some railroads, and start colonizing to get my own sugar and dyes and coffee and tea. And uh, when it's time, I will come back by forming Scandinavia and then I will go after Finland and show you how you can take Finland, hopefully. So see you in a while. Okay, I'm going to give you a small update. It's 1843. I did all the technologies that I needed to do for the railways and we're now having steel in our country. Uh, we have some steel mills and we have a motor industries that makes motors. And we are using those motors on our railroads, which means we don't have an infrastructure problem anymore. Only in uh, Svealand we are almost at the maximum again. So what I will do is actually build one extra railroad over here. So now I'm just focusing on what we need to do. I already got nationalism and now I will just wait for pan-nationalism to be researched. And then we will annex Norway and Denmark that way. Uh, and it will take 11 years. I have built up my university a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll do it a little bit more. And I will see you when I am done, or when I have another uh, update about uh, the situation. I'm just going to colonize Igbo over here, this whole state. A lot of people live here, and my people already built some uh, buildings over here. My capitalists and the uh, aristocracy. We built the cotton plantations, livestock range, uh, ranges, and millet farms. Now, I will also want to have my own dyes, and my own sugar, and my own tobacco, so and my own coffee. So let's uh, queue these all in. And yeah, I will be back when something will happen, really. Just building up my naval bases a little bit. Um, and I will also build up my military a bit more. And in the meantime, try to get good relations with Prussia, Austria, Great Britain and uh, France. We do have a trade agreement with Great Britain. And I was hoping to get Prussia to like me a bit more. They are at 70. Maybe when, when we get a relation of 80... It will become friendly and maybe then we can get an alliance or something. But uh, yeah, I see you guys uh, soon. Alright, we are almost there guys. I need 10 more months for pan-nationalism, but look what Schleswig did. <laughs> they are they are trying to uh, take radical Schleswig. Oh wait, this is just a rebellion, I think. <laughs> I was so confused when I, see, when I saw this, but I, th I think it's a uh, rebellion. Yeah, it's a rebellion in Schleswig, which is my, I think my puppet or my, what is it? It's an interpersonal union, actually. Because we puppeted Denmark, we took over their personal union. So we need to beat this down, really. Um, and then in a couple more months, we can click pan-nationalism. We will form Scandinavia. And then hopefully more of the major nations will help us against the Russians. Um, I am having 80 relations with Prussia, which is the maximum. But it's impossible to get more uh, things with him. They don't want an alliance or a uh, defensive pact. Austria doesn't want anything. We have maximum relations with him as well. Uh, France, we can give an obligation to um, get a defensive pact. I don't know why they don't accept because uh, it looks like they are at plus three. 
Oh, it's only at plus three when I offer an obligation. Okay. And we do have a defensive pact with Great Britain. So the relations with them are going up to 80. They are already 80. We could get an alliance for a obligation. That's something I can do. But I want to not uh, give my obligations away. Because I need them in the war against Russia. So let's first crush this rebellion over here. Um, in the meantime, I've built up my whole economy. I'll show it to you guys. We have all the farms. We have livestock, coal, iron, lead mines, coffee, cotton, dyes, tobacco, sugar, bananas, and locking camps and fishing wharf. We cannot build anything else. And for the major buildings as well. The only thing we can build is munition plants. Um, but I don't want munition plants because we cannot go to skirmish infantry yet. We need to research for that one. Uh, am I going to get this? It's spreading to us, so... Could make use of it before we attack the Russians, of course. Uh, let's see how much more months. Six more months. Now we won this war. So I will be back very soon when we can click the button. Oh, and apparently we already have pan-nationalism. It went very quickly. I think we, we got some sort of uh, re uh, boost for our research, I think. We also have egalitarianism. Now when we go to the culture step here, we have 11 out of 11. We are the only unification candidate because we are the only major power or higher in this region. And we can see that Denmark has our flag, Norway has our flag, we are ourselves. And Schleswig and radical Schleswig are under our control. Now let's just wait for this war to be over, just in case something weird is going to happen. There we go. That is now going to be ours. And we are going to form Scandinavia, we will annex everything. And now you have this beautiful color on the map. Now you need to incorporate all the states immediately. If you don't do this, you're going to lose a lot of money. So let's click on all the states that we uh, integrated. I think I will do Greenland as well. And also you got this island over here because that is part of Denmark. And you also have this now from Denmark, this uh, colony over here. So yeah, this colony is just uh, thriving like crazy. Uh, a lot of people are working here. We have all kinds of uh, agricultural things happening. Now for the next technology, I will go for general stuff. Maybe we can actually uh, get our ammunition plant up. And let's see where we have a lot of uh, labor left. So in northern Norway, we have the most labor left. So I will build my uh, ammunition plant over there. And we are in Schleswig-Holstein, we have some problems with the infrastructure. Let's have a look here. We have one railway. Um, oh, the problem is already over. So that is no longer a thing. We have unproductive trade routes because we did this. And we have some states in turmoil. Now we did take over a lot of buildings and some armies. So let's have a look at my general. In the Baltic we have 19 troops that can go to another commander. They should go to this commander, but maybe the game is a bit bugged. So let's see if I have a good new commander. We have a defensive commander from the church. I don't want the church to be... Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one. There we go. And I think we will become a great power soon. Um, we can get an alliance. We can get... Yeah, everyone wants want us to join uh, their customs union. We're not going to do this, of course. So this is how you form Scandinavia. Now, if you want to go after Finland, uh, you can just go for the return state. You can see for one state you get only 4.2 infamy. And that is because of um, that you have claims over here. So you keep the claims when you are Scandinavia. So that is the good news. Now, let's see if I can find uh, support to fight uh, Finland and then I will be back. Okay, I did a play and I added two countries to join. Uh, I told uh, France and Great Britain to join me on this war against the Russians. Um, we could return our states. I don't think we have enough maneuvers left to take everything in this war. Let's just take at least the things that make sense. So Ostrobothnia is already in. Southern Finland. 16 left. And Olaf. So we cannot take West Karelia in this war. Um, well, I think the people here are more Russian, right? No, they are Finnish, so we should go for them at some point. Uh, but yeah, this is just what I could do. What you also can do is uh, transfer the Grand Duchy of Finland to you. But, but since you already have formed Scandinavia, you cannot click the button again. And actually 
uh, take them for free. You need to uh, take them as your vessel and then annex them later. Now let's see how this war will go, because we have Great Britain and France on our side. Russia has no one else on their side, so uh, we'll be back when the war starts. Alright, the war is starting. Spain actually joined uh, the Russians, so that is a bit weird. Hopefully we can hold the line here against, uh, against the Russians. I don't think Great Britain is sending troops here yet, so hopefully they are going to this state here. Do I have an interest over here? Yeah. Well, we can add a bit more interest because we are now a great power. So let's add a bit more. Maybe want something over there. And maybe with Canada and the USA. And um, yeah, let's see if we can hold the line here. Where's the battle? Over here. The French are attacking the Russians. So there are some... Uh, some French over here. And of course the French are going to try to take down Spain. But hopefully we are going to get some help soon. Well, it looks like that France is uh, actually winning. So they are going to take some of our war goals over here. Yeah. Got a little bit. And France keeps attacking. Maybe I should help him. I did not put my uh, skirmish infantry on. Or what is it called? Yeah, skirmish infantry. Not yet. We are almost there. We do have the research just now. But I need to build my munition plant and then I can change the production method. Let's get the field work so we might get a bit more of a defensive boost. We also have great power of course now that I already told you. Um, but well, let's see what the French can do here. We are doing at least a lot of damage. And Spain is going to get killed so that is uh, very nice. Okay, I will help with the attack with the French army. Now we are only attacking, but we have 58 offense, also because we have our armed forces happy. Since I have gone for dedicated police force, we have a professional army, and we have national guard. And the armed forces really like that, so we have the bonus from them. Let's show it over here. They are just at 10, so we have a 15% offense and defensive boost. Okay, looks like we are going to get more from the Russians. Spain should uh, capitulate very soon, then hopefully uh, Great Britain and France are going to help me over here. Russian capital is St. Petersburg at this part of the game. So, if we can take that down, we should be good to go. Spain is out of the war. So I think we are going to get the troops from this front to here, or maybe there will be a naval invasion. Great Britain wants an alliance, sure. No problem. Whatever, that's about the elections, don't really care about it. Yeah, we are winning again against the Russians. We have a very good commander taking care of the uh, battles over here. Uh, I could change this now, but if I change it right now, we will have a 60 or 80% uh, attack bo uh, malice. So we could upgrade our troops, but uh, I'm not going to do it. Can I design a strategic objective? I can. Over there. Now, we'll be back when the war is over. I don't think uh, anything else is going to happen. And there we go, guys. The Russians uh, gave up. We took more of the war goals. And we took three states from Finland. Uh, there's just one more state left that we have to take where we have a claim on. You can do this in the next war. And then I would uh, take more of Russia. I would maybe take uh, the Prussian coastline. So you have a big Baltic uh, country. Uh, France and uh, Great Britain are happy with me, so let's make use of it for the rest of the game. And take uh, everything in Northern Germany, maybe the Netherlands, so you can take the Ind Indies. And then it's up to you how you uh, advance. Now for uh, the map looking good, you should really take uh, East Karelia. And uh, this state, West Karelia. We'll take this, this, this and this. And then these four states at the coastline. And then you have a fantastic Baltic Empire. That will be the end for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And then I see you in the next video. Bye bye.